guys for Psychic Future. This is your horoscope from the 27th of January to the 2nd of February. So this week we have got one important transit going on and that is Mercury is moving into Pisces. So Mercury in Pisces is all about the themes of compassion, creativity and spirituality. So you're going to be very focused on these things this week and what you will find is that you are kind of almost unable to do the things that are outside of the, that zone. So because Pisces is opposite Virgo, uh, these are the kind of opposite energies that we've got going on this week and also Mercury rules Virgo, so it's like this double whammy. And basically, Virgo rules things like your health, your daily work um, and any of those little tasks that are kind of boring but need to be done in order to like progress your life and your work. Um, and so what you will find is that now that we have Mercury in Pisces and it's opposing Virgo, that you're kind of like, oh, I don't really want to do those little tasks. I don't really want to, um, you know, kind of organise my life and tidy my room and do my filing and my emails. Like, you're just kind of like, I don't want to deal with that right now. Um, if you do have the opportunity to kind of put some of that stuff on the back burner, then definitely do, because Mercury in Pisces is incredibly uh, intuitive and incredibly connected to divine. Um, and what you might find is that you are uh, picking up kind of like messages from your subconscious or picking up messages from divine and um, you're having a lot of synchronicity so you know like repeating numbers uh, seeing patterns and symbols and uh, perhaps you're having really vivid dreams and you think wow what was that about it was almost like an omen in itself and um, try and write these things down because uh, in particular for you Capricorn this is uh, actually kind of giving you some sort of like breadcrumb trail towards something um, and we all know how much a Capricorn loves a kind of trail to follow and a, and a path to kind of like keep moving along. Um, so just try to do things slightly differently this week because your natural response will be to overthink it uh, and to kind of revert back to that logical and analytical way of seeing things. But actually what you need to be doing is getting kind of outside of that and going a little bit deeper, a little bit higher uh, and not overthinking it, just saying, OK, yeah, I believe that. Let's do it. Let's try that. Let's go that way. Let's talk to that person. And let's you know do it this different way and um, so yeah it's less about your thinking capacity and more about your intuition and receiving messages uh, because actually you'll find that you might be able to even channel stuff this week so get a pen and a paper and just see what happens so I am going to pull you a tarot card to give you a little bit of extra advice uh, this is actually a really good week for you and tarot as well if you can get a deck if you've got some tarot cards Okay, so this is the Eight of Cups. This is talking about uh, walking away from something in order to find something better. Um, now, usually people associate this with um, with like relationships, not necessarily always romantic, but you know, just kind of uh, giving yourself space from people that are not uh, not quite for you or that are draining your energy in that moment. Um, and this can affect your intuition, like I said before, which is very strong this week. So be very careful uh, to let other people kind of like pull from your intuition. Give yourself space from those kind of people. So that is all for me this week, guys. I hope you have a lovely one and I hope to see you next time.